Where does this translation of Saint Exupéry's quote on design come from? A very well-known aphorism from Antoine de Saint Exupéry is: "I L symbol K law perfection soit a teen non quan I L N Y a plus rain or juta mes quan I L N Y a plus rain or red rancher." Terre de Homs, 1939. The canonical English translation is: "Perfection is finally attained not when there is no longer anything to add." But when there is no longer anything to take away. Translation by Louis Galantier. If this were prefaced by the words, it seems that it would be a literal translation from the French. Unfortunately, I don't have a better source than Wikiquote to see if Galantier's version includes those words. However, the quote in English seems to be most common in the active voice. A designer knows he has achieved perfection not when there is nothing left to add. But when there is nothing left to take away, Google. When did this version of the quote originate? And am I correct that this version is more recognizable in English? It seems better and more powerful to me, but it does change the sense of the original. For the original context, here's Louis Galantier's full translation of the first two paragraphs of the third chapter, "The Tool of Wind, Sand, and Stars." And now, having spoken of the men born of the pilot's craft, I shall say something about the tool with which they work the airplane. Have you looked at a modern airplane? Have you followed from year to year the evolution of its lines? Have you ever thought not only about the airplane but about whatever man builds, that all of man's industrial efforts, all his computations and calculations, all the nights spent over working drafts and blueprints, invariably culminate in the production of a thing whose sole and guiding principle is the ultimate principle of simplicity? It is as if there were a natural law which ordained that to achieve this end, to refine the curve of a piece of furniture, or a ship's keel, or the fuselage of an airplane, until gradually it partakes of the elementary purity of the curve of a human breast or shoulder, there must be the experimentation of several generations of craftsmen. In anything at all, perfection is finally attained not when there is no longer anything to add, but when there is no longer anything to take away, when a body has been stripped down to its nakedness. It's notably longer than the Wikiquote version, and closer to the French meaning. Dredging Google Books, the earliest I can find is in 1940s The Poetry of Flight, an anthology, by Selden Rodman, as part of a longer section of text, presumably all by de Saint-Exupéry. In anything at all, perfection is finally attained not when there is no longer anything to add, but when there is no longer anything to take away, when a body has been stripped down to its nakedness. It results from this that perfection, and the same in Air University Quarterly Review. This shorter section is quoted by a number of books, such as in 1949's Treasury of the Christian Faith, an encyclopedic handbook of the range and witness of Christianity. In anything at all, perfection is finally attained not when there is no longer anything to add, but when there is no longer anything to take away. And a longer quote in 1950's Michigan Alumnus Quarterly Review, Volume 58. Sand and stars, if anything at all, perfection is finally attained not when there is no longer anything to add, but when there is no longer anything to take away, when a body has been stripped down to its nakedness. The if anything at all is dropped in 1950s philanthropy in America. Saint Exupéry wrote of airplanes, perfection is finally attained not when there is no longer anything to add, but when there is no longer anything to take away. 1. And also dropped in 1953's Metal Treatment and Drop Forging, Volume 20. And again, later books either have in anything at all, or if anything at all, or drop it. For the later quote, the only reference I could find is in the New Hacker's Dictionary by Eric S. Raymond from 1996. The French aviator, adventure and author Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, probably best known for his classic children's book The Little Prince, was also an aircraft designer. He gave us perhaps the best definition of engineering elegance when he said a designer knows he has achieved perfection not when there is nothing left to add, but when there is nothing left to take away.